So in this video, I'm actually going to look through the alternative you can do to setting up the way your squeeze process actually works. And this means we're going to have our squeeze page going to our autoresponder, which we've already set that up. We have our squeeze page with our autoresponder, so that bit stays the same, nothing actually changes here. But then what we want to do is, be, rather than having a, a double opt-in confirm, we're going to send them straight to the sales page. So that's the next step that we need to set up. So in order to do this, we go into our Aweber account and we choose the form that we already created. And this is then loading up the form for us. We want to go to settings. And then the thank you page, we don't want to send them to the audio version. We actually want to send them to a custom page. So we choose custom page. And this is going to be the URL to our actual website. So it's just to the ETV folder. So it's your domain name.com forward slash ETV. We want to send them straight to this sales page. So we put that in here. Right click and paste. Already subscribe page, basic version, custom page, and again, we can paste in the actual URL. Now, we actually do know that it's valid. Let's put it in again here. There we go. So we're going to send them to the sales page no matter what they do. So we're going to save our web form. And the great thing is because we chose to use JavaScript code, we don't actually need to change anything with inside Aweber. This will actually automatically update the details and that when someone actually comes to our site and opts in on the squeeze page, they'll actually then automatically now be redirected rather than going to the thank you page to download the report, they'll go straight to the sales page. They'll now get to read through the sales page, be offered the product, now what we want to do here now is we can offer them the product and at the bottom here we just want to say no not interested in the product this time thank you take me to my free report so we can put a link in here that then actually does take the person to the video squeeze page thank you report in our case it's the folder etv video squeeze thanks to html so this is the page that then go to download their report and rather than linking back to the sales page on here, we want to put some other perhaps free gifts, grab here, get some free gifts here, or other affiliate links that we want to promote, we put in this section here. So the first step is to change the sales page to no thanks, not interested this time, please take me to download my report. And then we want to make a note of the thank you page where our report is, copy that, because that's where we're going to send them if they don't want to take it yet. So all we need to do, and then we, on the reseller files, we go into our website, then we open up in our favorite HTML editing software, and again, I'm using Dreamweaver. And we now have our sales page that's on our site. We're gonna scroll to the bottom. We'll put in the main name here. Now you can word this however you like, it's entirely up to you, but we just highlight it, and the link we're gonna take it to is our thank you page of our report. And as we show you this in the code, like the image earlier on, all we do is open up a square bracket, a space href equals, open quotes, the website address to the thank you, close quotes, close square bracket, then the no thanks, I'm not interested in the port right now, etc. And then again, to close it, open square bracket, forward slash a, close square bracket. And that's it, that's then the link 